Let's take a look at the uh, eTrex Vista HCX Garmin GPS a little bit more detail. Um, there are four main pages to it. and We learned in the last video that this button up here allows us to page through the buttons. <laughs> or the pages I mean. So the first page we're looking at is our main menu page and then we can look at the mapping page. Mapping page obviously we can zoom in and zoom out by hitting the top buttons here and we can zoom in on the map. Okay, as you zoom in a little bit more you can start to see some streets on that one and uh, a little bit more information as you zoom in. Some of the things we can do, you, you might be able to see this pink line hanging off the side. That's my navigation I have set. I wanted to figure out which way Fillmore was. And so I can come in and the first one is, is stop navigation. And that's going to remove that pink line from my map. Okay. Also menu items are, you can also resume navigation. It's going to put that pink line back in. So if I had entered a wave point into the GPS and I was following it, it's going to give me a nice straight line on how to find that location. If I have it set for roads, it would give me the, the distance on, on the road. So I'm going to turn off that navigation right now. Um, and we'll take a look at the map, the next page. The next page is the compass page. A couple things we can do on this menu here. We can do some sight and go. We can, you know, Resume navigation. Let's get up to that. Resume navigation. Sorry, you couldn't see the screen. I had a glare. And you can start seeing it's putting that uh, pink line back on. And we take a look at it here, and the compass is telling me Fillmore's to the right, which is correct. And it gives me a, it's about 11.3 miles away. Okay. Um, I can come in and select stop navigation. Hard to see without the light on. You can see all that information goes away. Okay. Um, the next page, that's going to be our, our altimeter page. It's going to track, in this case, I have this GPS, my personal one, sent for my average descent, and it also have it set for the barometer so I can keep an eye on the weather. And then this is um, the elevation that I'm currently at right now at 445 feet. Okay. We can set the altimeter here. If you know that you're at the top of Mount Pinos, you can come down here and uh, calibrate altimeter. Um, do you know the correct elevation? And you can say yes. And then you can, can edit the in information. I think I'm about 280, no, I think it's 283 feet. Let's set that here and say okay. It says okay. So altimeter was off by a little bit before it said a couple 400 feet. Now it says 284 feet. Um, and that's the, the correct elevation for my property. All right. So then we're back to satellite. Uh, the main menu. Um, on the satellite page, you can quickly click in and see how the strength of the G of the satellites. You can you know track with the GPS off. You can track up. You can do multipolar. You can do GPS elevation. Uh, we prefer to use the altimeter, altimeter, so we have it set for that. So those are a couple of things that we can see on that page. Um, last time we talked about some of the setups, and the next one we'll talk about um, wave points and such. Thanks, guys.